Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome, YouTube citizens. I was just thinking, I'm just reading. Um, if you get a chance, get your Bible out. But Proverbs 14.1 says a wise, a wise uh, woman builds her house, but a foolish one plucks it down with her own hands. Uh, and I'm probably paraphrasing, but Proverbs 14, verse 1. I was just thinking to myself, I'm here talking to my dad, and I was just thinking to myself that my wife is a fool. She's foolish. I was just, you know, you, you, you never know who is for you, who's against you. My wife would go around in the name of prayer, praying with her girlfriends, Jeanette Bantamoy, Heather Faulkner, Laura Williams, um, Stephanie Hines, go around praying about things that she had issues with me, nothing sinful, but just things that she had issues with and don't even know who really is for her or against her. And, and these women and Sherry, 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 Sherry Weiss, Weiss, they go and tell her and encourage her to leave her husband to teach him a lesson. And then she ends up making a foolish, a dumb move and break up a home. And, 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 and it doesn't just affect two people. It affects seven, now eight other, other children that don't even have a choice. And you know what's so crazy? I was just thinking why it's so foolish. Because all those people that is supporting my wife, are they really supporting? They all go back home to their family, to their husbands, to their children. And what is what, what's my wife now? She's all by herself trying to handle eight children, ranging from 15 all the way to a newborn, without a man. Is that, is that what it's all about? No plan, no, can't even back it up biblically. And now what? You have eight children, single, by choice. And all your friends that you think is your friends are sitting there just laughing at you. You're the laughing stock of town. You cut the head. What do you do when you cut the head? You cut the head and the body dies. Let's see. Maybe, maybe, maybe my wife is right on this. Maybe my wife will be able to defy the word of Yah. Maybe her move will literally defy the word of Yah, saying that, oh, nope, not Eileen. I'm exempt from what the Bible says. I am not a fool. I am a wise woman for plucking down my home. Let's see. Let's see how this is going to work. I'm, I'm, I'm really curious to see how this is going to work. I'm moving on. But it'll be nice to see how this thing works. Let's see how, what she says. She said there's, there's wisdom in a multitude of counsel or there's safety in a multitude of counsel. Well, <laughs> it depends what type of counsel you're getting. And that counsel that she got was not biblical one iota. So anyway, I'm going to title this stuff, My Wife is a Fool. And this is for all you women out there. Don't go around tearing your husband down with even people you think they are your friends. Because you don't know if people are jealous or envy of you. And they just want to see your downfall so they can feel good about themselves. That's how the devil works. If you have an issue with your husband and things that you may not like or whatever, you take that up to the most high. You pray. If Yah says he, he says he can turn the heart of a king like a river, you go to him and you make your petition to him. But don't be gossiping about your husband. Don't go around slandering your husband because then all you do is you give room for the devil to come in and then somebody comes in and use that opportunity to destroy the very thing that you said you love. Don't be a fool and let my situation be an example. We had a good home. We had home better than most. And I know that there are people truly envious and, and, and jealous of, of our life and our lifestyle. And, and they, was able to find a, they was able to take advantage of a woman who was vulnerable. And she started telling everybody about her issues and slandering her husband and not realizing that her job is to build the home up to protect that. And instead she allowed the state to get involved, let all these people get involved and wreck something that was really good, really good. 
I mean, we, that, so if that can happen to me and can happen to me in my household, it can happen to anyone. I never abused my wife, even though she may want to go around and falsely accuse that, but that's not true. I was a good provider. And look how, look, look at a home divided cannot stand. That's what the Bible says. It is true. Once again, I'm here to testify. It is true. A home divided cannot stand. There's only one head. And, and Yah has made the man the head, not the woman. And when a woman tries to be the head, and then there's two head, there's going to be a, the, the home will not, it will fall. And that's what's happening right now. Right now. But it's good. The more I lose, the more freedom I'm experiencing. The more that I can go and serve the most high. So anyway, it was a foolish mistake what my wife did. And let this be an example for all you women. If you truly love your husband, if you truly love your children, don't be sharing stuff to people that you don't know. You go around sharing all that stuff up and then they'll give you advice. And just like Eve, he says, you won't surely die. Did God really say? And then she saw that it was good to eat and she ate. And then she gave it to the husband. And guess what happened? They got kicked out of the garden. How did that work out for Adam and Eve? How did it work out for all of us? So my wife ate the, ate the, ate the fruit. And now what? She literally, somebody was able to convince her to leave a situation. Well, the grass always, look, the grass always looks good on the other side. Maybe my wife is having a great time raising eight children. They can have fun. No more rules. It's all about fun, 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 fun. Children are getting bad grades, so mm, something must be good happening. We'll see. So anyway, learn from this stuff. Tell me what you think. Am I too harsh? Is my wife wise or is she a fool? I think she's a fool. Proverbs 14.1 says, a wise woman builds her house up, but a foolish woman plucks it down with her hands. Tell me what you think. And please subscribe to my channel. Just little nuggets. All right. Blessing. Shalom, shalom.